is going on YouTube? My name is Nick and welcome back to another NBA 2K24 Road to a Championship where today I am using the Los Angeles Lakers and looking to bring them banner number 18. Uh, and no, I'm not including their in-season tournament win, but yeah, NBA Finals. Looking to win a Finals in the last in the three seasons here with the Lakers and the ultimate goal is to get one before LeBron James retires. Get him his fifth ring of his career. Uh, the rotation will start out looking like this. 28 for D'Lo, 30 for Reeves, 26 for Torian Prince. LeBron and AD will get 36 minutes with a bench of Jared Vanderbilt getting 24. 22 to Rui Hashimura, 17 for Christian Wood, 12 for Cam Reddish, and then 9 for Jackson Hayes. Which Tofino and Christy will play if we have any more injuries. And then Gabe Vincent is out uh, 6 to 8 weeks with... Uh, have, after having arthroscopic knee surgery, it's supposed to be left knee surgery. He had left knee surgery, but uh, the game doesn't let you put left knee surgery on. But he is out to start this. And also, I have a couple guys in the G League. I have uh, Maxwell. Maxwell Lewis is in the G League, uh, developing, and so is uh, Colin Castleton. Uh, Maxwell Lewis is a rookie out of Pepperdine, and then Colin Castleton out of Florida. Our system proficiency is three and a half star balance under Darden Ham. I am going to roll with that. And uh, it is December 11th. Gabe Vincent is back. I will get him in the rotation. Uh, the Lakers are 16 at 7 at this point, which is pretty solid. By the way, start today is not fixed, which is annoying. And I also using a different draft class too for this season. I found a, I found a good dra uh, better draft class for 2023, or I mean 2024, and I also found a good one for 25 and 26, so I'll be using those moving forward. Alrighty, here's our rotation now. Uh, 26 for D'Lo, 30 still for Reeves, 24 for Prince, 35 to LeBron, 37 for Anthony Davis, and then 25 for Hashimura as our sixth man now, 23 for Jarrett Vanderbilt, 16 to Christian Wood, uh, 15 minutes to Gabe Vincent coming off his injury or knee surgery, and then Cam Reddish, 9 minutes. Also, I set LeBron and AD as our two scoring options. Third option doesn't matter to me. And we have an inj major injury here. Cam Reddish breaks his right leg. He's out 6 to 8 weeks. And the Lakers do have two All-Stars this year. We have uh, LeBron James as the captain. Uh, for his own team, and Anthony Davis is on Team Giannis. Uh, we get no other All-Stars. Uh, former Laker and Brandon Ingram does make it. Uh, in the standings, we are the four seed behind the Clippers, Thunder, and Pelicans. Our point differential is a 2.9. Now LeBron is leading the way for us in scoring, averaging 25.6 points, 7.5 oh, seven rebounds, 8 assists, 1.4 steals at a block per game. He's balling out. Uh, he's shooting 54 from the field, 77 from three. Uh, AD is doing awesome as well. I didn't even mess with the shot tendencies either. He's playing really well. Uh, D'Angelo Russell is our third score, score, averaging 17 points. Yeah, he's playing well. Six assists. I don't know why the Lakers benched him in real life. Austin Reeves is playing awesome as well. He's also off the bench in real life, but I'm starting him in this game because he's very good in this game too. Uh, Rui Hachimura is playing well also. Uh, let's see, there is Christian Wood. What's he shooting from 360? Or 36%. Uh, how many attempts per night? Or how many attempts is he taking? A good amount. He's taking 122 point attempts. He's made 44. And there's Jared Vanderbilt. He's a stud defender. Torian Prince. He's shooting 36 from 3. Uh, Jalen Hood Shafino, he's been playing playing a little bit for um, Cam Reddish. He's been solid. I mean, not too bad. Uh, Gabe Vincent has not been playing well at all. Uh, not good. I might have to probably lower his shot tendency. So I'm going to adjust that. Cam Reddish was not playing very well either. I still have one or two weeks. I might look to trade him and um, Gabe Vincent. We'll see. 
decided I am going to make a move at the deadline. Uh, Cam Reddish is still out, so we can't move him. So I decided we're going to move Gabe Vincent and Jackson Hayes to the Oklahoma City Thunder for Trey Mann and uh, Julian Phillips, who's a rookie out of Tennessee. Hasn't played this year. Uh, Trey Mann is just a better backup point guard than Gabe Vincent overall. I think he's shooting, um, I, I would say, shooting really well. I think his, his role would be decent here. I mean, yeah, he's getting 15 minutes in OKC. I'd probably give him, like, about the same. I'd give him 15 to 17 minutes, probably. Yeah, Gabe Vincent's just not, not playing very well. His efficiency is really bad. Uh, I'll see if he does better, maybe, in Oklahoma City. And we're going to make that move. Yeah, that's going to be our only move here at the deadline. As we are 31 and 21. Uh, here's our rotation after the Trey Mann acquisition. Uh, it's going to be 28 to D'Lo, 31 to Austin Reeves, 25 to Torian Prince, 36 for LeBron, 37 for AD, 25 for Hashimura, 20 to Jared Vanderbilt, uh, 16 for Trey Mann, uh, only 14 to Christian Wood just because I want to play v Vanderbilt and Trey Mann more. Uh, and then 8 minutes to Hood Shafino, he's going to play a little bit. Max. Christie won't play, and also Julian Phillips is out of the rotation as well. At the end of the 2023-2024 season, the Los Angeles Lakers go 48-34. and Very good record. Uh, Luka Doncic wins MVP with averaging a triple-double. Uh, Victor Wenbenyama wins Rookie of the Year. Almost averaged four blocks and two steals and a double-double on very solid shooting splits. Wow, those are elite shooting splits for a rookie. Russell Westbrook won 6th man of the year for the Clippers, probably behind uh, James Harden and uh, Paul George. Uh, Giannis wins Defensive Player of the Year. Shaden Sharp most improved uh, for the Portland Trailblazers in his second year. Pretty cool to see. And then Willie Green for the Pelicans wins Coach of the Year. They, they must be the one seed. Uh, we do get LeBron James on All-NBA First Team. That's nice to see. He averaged 24 points per game. 8 rebounds, 8.5 assists, 1.3 steals in his age 39 season. Just insane stuff. Uh, let's see, we don't get Anthony Davis on All-NBA all Second Team or Third Team, huh? No AD at all. It's a bit surprising. Wemby, Joel Embiid, and Bam are over him. Oh, all defensive teams, no Lakers there. Uh, we don't get we don't get AD on all defensive second team either, which is annoying. And we don't get him on all defensive. We don't. Yeah, no, AD does not make an All NBA team. That's crazy. Uh, all rookie teams. Not nobody. Nobody a huge surprise there. Uh, and second, we don't get any Lakers on all rookie second team either. Uh, we are the four seed in the playoffs. We're taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. So a rematch of last season. Uh, the Grizzlies... The Grizzlies... Uh, the Grizzlies have Ja Morant, Marcus Smart, Desmond Bain, Jaron Jackson Jr., Brandon Clark, Santi Aldama, Xavier Tillman, David Roddy. Uh, it looks like they got Peyton Pritchard. Uh, they must have traded for him. Jake Laravia, Bruno Fernando. Is Mac Biombo, Luke Kennard. So many great. The only one new really is Peyton Pritchard that they got. Uh, we did finish a couple games behind the Thunder for the three seed. The team we traded uh, Gabe Vincent to. Uh, we'll see actually if Gabe Vincent's been playing for them. Don't. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's been doing a little bit better for them. Okay, he's been playing slightly better. So that's good to see. Uh, our point differential is 4.3 on the season. Looking at our player stats, we saw what LeBron did. I cannot believe AD did not make an All-NBA team. He had, a, he had a phenomenal season. I mean, his point, points did drop. Maybe that's why. Uh, still very, his, his defensive numbers are better this year. And still, I don't know how he didn't make an All-Defensive team. Austin Reeves averaging 17.2 points per game. Good shooting splits. D'Lo is our fourth option. Uh, he played well for us. There is Hashimura, uh, Trey Mann, he shot 38 from 3. Yeah, it was good for us. Christian Christian Wood was solid. Yeah, I think his minutes will probably stay the same. Uh, there's Jared Vanderbilt, really good defender for us. There's Torian Prince, he is, he's solid. 
Jalen Hood Shafino. I don't know if he I don't think he'll play for the playoffs, but he had a decent rookie season. Uh, and then there's Cam Reddish. Not terrible for us. Alrighty, here's our playoff rotation. A 33 to our backcourt of D'Lo and Reeves. 26 for Torrey and Prince. 40 for LeBron and AD. Uh, Hachimura, 22. 24 Vando. 15 for Christian Wood. And 11 for Trey Mann. Let's get into this Grizzlies series. Simulate the round. And Kamrash is hurt. He's not even in the rotation, so it doesn't matter. I don't know how he got hurt not being in the rotation. We're up 3-1. Can we win in 5 against Memphis? And, oh, we can't, uh, yeah, oh, we won in six. I'll take that. I will definitely take that. As we're taking on the eight-seeded Nuggets, the defending champs knocked off the, knocked off the one-seeded Pelicans. It's kind of funny. Uh, let's take a look at these box scores here. Game one, we won an OT, 122-116. LeBron with a 31, 11, and 11 triple-double. Three steals, three blocks. Wow. That's impressive. Uh, game two, LeBron at AD with 20 apiece. That wasn't enough. Eh, John Morant dropped 50. That's insane. Uh, game three, a 40 point triple double for Austin Reeves. Wow. <laughs> Just absurd. LeBron at AD getting after it on the defensive end. Uh, game four was a Lakers dub. Close one. Uh, game five. Uh, Desmond Bain had 29 to lead them uh, to victory. Uh, AD did not have a good game in this one. Other than LeBron, LeBron only took five shots. Uh, and then game six, we, uh, the 40 for Jowl is enough as the Lakers won 126-114. LeBron at 26-3 and 6. A double double for AD. Taking on the Nuggets. See if they're, they added anybody. Uh, they do have Julian Strother. Rookie out of Gonzaga. We played pretty well. Uh, Chris Middleton. Oh, they traded. Just traded for Chris Middleton. That's wild. It's probably Michael Porter Jr. We can look that up. Look at that. Still have Gordon. Jokic, of course. Christian Brown. They added Josh Hart as well. Wow. That makes me busy at the deadline. And they have Robin Lopez as well. Must have got him in that the trade with uh, Chris Middleton. So they traded Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. Like, I'll check that out. Yeah, they traded Michael Porter Jr. and Zeke Naji for Chris Middleton and Robin Lopez and KCP for Josh Hart. Okay. Uh, was Jamal Murray hurt? I didn't see Jamal Murray. Oh, wait, Jamal Murray was starting. I'm dumb. Uh, they still have Jamal Murray. So they traded Michael Porter Jr. and KCP. Interesting. Alright. Simulate the round against the defending champs here. Camera is just back. Not even in the rotation. Oh, Austin Reeves next straight, so he's going to be out for game two as we won game one. Uh, game one, we took it 108-104. LeBron with a 43-point game. Wow, it's insane. All right, game number two. Game number, let's continue here. With, here, Austin Reeves is back. He has a sore neck. Uh, so I'll, I'll get him back in there. We're going to play him. Hi, just to the rotation here, and uh, Reeves is back. We're up 3 0, and okay, we swept the Nuggets. Let's go. And who are we going to be taking on in the conference finals? It is going to be Luka and the Mavericks as they beat the Thunder in six, and they beat the Clippers in six as well. So, no Clippers, Lakers, conference finals. Let's see, game two, we won pretty handily 121 to 109. D'Lo led us on scoring. Game three, 120 112, we won. Uh, LeBron had 32 points, 7 rebounds, 12 assists. Good game for AD and Hashimura as well. Oh, game 4, we won an overtime by 1 point. Wow. 30, 14, and 8 for LeBron. As we are taking on the Mavs here in the conference finals. Did they? Let's see if they added anybody. Doesn't look like it. Oh, they added Mitchell Robinson. Okay. <laughs> we got Mitch Robb. Interesting. Uh, Derek Lively, Dante Exum still. Interesting. Uh, so this, is, this should be a tough series. Simulate the round here. The Mavericks go up. And oh, strain left hip. Reeves is out for the season. As the series is 1-1. He must have got hurt in game one or two. We're starting Trey Mann in the place of Austin Reeves. That sucks. He is out. 
Uh, series is tied one apiece at the moment. Uh, game one, uh, game one we got blown out. One fifty to one thirty-three. Jeez. Luca had a seventy-one point triple double. Oh my gosh, I've never seen that. That's incredible. Uh, game two we did bounce back and win by ten. Anthony Davis balled out. D'Lo, LeBron, shout outs to you. Austin Reeves played well, but now he's out for the season, unfortunately. And uh, Jimmy Butler wins conference finals MVP for the Heat, so they're going back to the finals. Dallas is up two one. Let's see, they they took they they took game three one twenty to one hundred two. Kyrie with forty and a triple double for Luca. My gosh. And Dallas goes up three one. Ugh. They blew us out, 112-87. It's not looking good here. Can we stay alive in this series? We do not. We get eliminated in five. Luka Doncic just killed us in that series. Whoa. 45-point triple-double. They're taking on the Heat in the finals. Rematch of the 2011 finals. And the Mavericks beat the Heat in five. Luka's finals MVP. Insane numbers. 18-year-olds uh, are now allowed to enter the draft to have the Pelicans have our draft pick at 22 from the Anthony Davis trade no harm no foul Minnesota wins the lottery like they did in 2020 and we get Owen Masters to be our assistant GM all right here were the top five picks in the draft Ron Holland went first overall to the Minnesota Timberwolves he's a 79 Alexander Saar went to the Thunder Nikola Topich to the Wizards. Cody Williams, the brother of uh, Jalen Williams with an E on the Thunder, goes to the Blazers. And then Isaiah Collier to the Spurs. Rookie signings, Bronny James fell to us. Uh, he's not ranked very highly in this draft class. So we, we bring LeBron's oldest son to the Lakers. I'll sign him. Going to look to develop him on, uh, under LeBron in this squad. That's pretty cool, man, that we get Bronny. Um, team player options, LeBron accepts. Yeah, he wants to play with his son. D'Lo opts out. We'll see if maybe if we can get an upgrade there. Otherwise, we'll bring him back. Uh, Christian Wood declines. So does Cam Reddish. Uh, qualifying offers, I'm just going to extend it to Max Christie. Yeah, these other guys can walk. D'Angelo Russell got a three-year, $63 million deal from the Jazz. I'm going to try to one-up their deal and bring him back. Let's go three years, 63 three and a half and see if he signs with us three years 63 and a half for D'Lo and we do get D'Angelo Russell back all right that's our big big signing this offseason I can still afford to bring Tori and Prince back as well we're gonna bring him back and we do get Tori and Prince very nice now I just need a backup center so Max Christie accepts his qualifying offer Net player progression here, uh, LeBron does regress, so would really like to win it all this year. So does AD, Austin Reeves is going up, there is D'Lo, Hachimura, Vanderbilt, Hood Shafino is progressing as well, that's nice to see. Uh, Trey Mann, I think is going to be our, Trey Mann's going to be, be uh, get some more minutes this year, he's looking good. And then there's Prince, uh, we signed Drew Eubanks, Maxwell Lewis is progressing. Also signed uh, Wenyan Gabriel out of, and uh, Gabriel here. And uh, Bronny's probably going to be in the G League this year. For season number two, D to start the season, D'Lo's going to get 26 minutes. 30 for Austin Reeves. 26 for Torian Prince. 36 for James Davis. Uh, 26 for Jared Vanderbilt as our sixth man. 21 for Hachimura. 17 for Trey Mann, getting a bigger role as our backup PG this year. Jalen hood Shafino, I moved him over to the shooting guard. He's going to get 13. And then 10 for Drew Eubanks. Maxwell Lewis, Max Christie, and Wendy Gabriel will now be playing. LeBron and AD are our scoring options. And to start the year, I've got Jalen Phillips, or Julian Phillips and Bronny in the G League. Probably going to call Bronny up for the playoffs, just so he's on the roster, which would be kind of cool. And our system proficiency is still three and a half star balance. I'm going to stick with that. Ah, oh, a major injury here. Austin Reeves with a left hand fracture. He's out four to six weeks. We start off the season seven and six, so not great. Uh, here's what our rotation is going to look like without Austin Reeves. 34 D'Lo, 
27 for Jalen Hood Shafino. He's going to start. Uh, he's been playing. He's been playing fairly well. Uh, and Torian Prince will get 24. 36 for eight for LeBron and Andy Davis still. Vanderbilt, our sixth man. Trey Mann's going to get 21. 20 for Hashimura. He's not been playing that well. Less minutes for him. 13 for Wenyan Gabriel. I'm going to play him over Drew Eubanks. He's been atrocious to start the year. Oh, then Max Christie, 10. Austin Reeves is back here. I'm going to adjust the rotation. I made some changes here to the rotation. D'Lo's going to get 30. Or, or D'Lo's going to get 27. 30 for Austin Reeves. Yeah, I meant to say 30 for Austin Reeves. I moved LeBron over to the small forward where he's at 94. He's going to get 34 minutes. 26 for Jarrett Vanderbilt. He's now going to start at the power forward. Uh, and then 35 to Anthony Davis. Bench of Rui Hashimura, Trey Mann. Actually, since Hashimura is not playing that well, I'm going to swap their minutes. Hashimura and Mann. We're going to give Hashimura 22. We're going to give Mann 26. All right, Mann is, Trey Mann is our sixth man. 22 for Hashimura. 15 for Torian Prince. Uh, 14 for Jalen Hood Shafino, and then 11 for Wenyan Gabriel. So that will help us here as we're sitting at a mediocre 14 to 14. And we just threw an hour 14 to 15. Oh, once again, Anthony Davis and LeBron James make the all star team. Uh, D Anthony Davis is a reserve on Team Luka Dantic, and LeBron is a starter for Team Tyrese Halliburton. Now, uh, the record's not looking that great for the Lakers right now 23 and 26. Trying to turn it around for the second half of the season. We're currently in the Tennessee. This we're a playing team right now. Oh, our defense is not, or our point differential is not great. I don't know. Do we need to trade the Angelo Russell or Reeves? I don't know, man. A better defensive guard. But I don't know. I like this team. They're just not performing right now for some reason. Player stats: LeBron and AD are both averaging 21 points really good defenders hope to see that uh, there's D'Lo is averaging 15 points a game I mean maybe we trade D'Lo I don't know he's been he's been good Austin Reeves pretty solid too there's Trey Mann I like what he's been doing for us I mean, three point percentage isn't great but I do like what he's been doing uh, Rui Hachimura Rui Hachimura maybe we move I'm thinking about moving him potentially uh, Jalen Hood Shafino has been all right. There's Jared Vanderbilt, still a really good defender for us. There's Torian Prince. I mean, maybe we, maybe. Uh, Wenyan Gabriel. Then Max Christie played a little bit. He was he was pretty decent. Uh, doing a trade at this year's deadline as well, like I did last year. This is a really good trade, I think. Rihachimura, Drew Eubanks, and a couple seconds for D'Anthony Melton and Paul Reed. Wow. Yeah, D'Anthony Melton, great 3 and D guy. I've acquired him before, and he's helped me win championships. And we're also getting Paul Reed, who is a big upgrade as our backup center. Yeah, I like that. I like that move a lot. Thank you, Sixers. Here's our rotation after that big, after that big, tra big trade, in my opinion, with the Sixers. Uh, D'Lo, 29. 28 for Reeves, 36 for LeBron, 25 for Vanderbilt, 35 for Anthony Davis. With DeAnthony Milton as our new sixth man, he'll get 25. 20 for Trey Mann, 20 for Jalen Hood Shafino, 12 for B Ball Paul, and 10 for Jalen Hood Shafino, or for Torian Prince. Ah, major injury. B Ball Paul breaks his right leg. So, Wendon Gabriel is probably going to play in his place. Disappointing season in year two here for the LA Lakers. 39 and 43. Hoping that's enough for the play in. Uh, Luca wins MVP again. Insane triple double once again for him. Nikola Topic, rookie of the year uh, in Washington. These are solid numbers. He's out of Serbia, just like Jokic. Uh, Alonzo Ball is the sixth man of the year. Still with the Bulls. Uh, Giannis Depoy once again. Most improved Julian Strother for the Nuggets. Two. That's a pretty big improvement, I would say. I kind of don't like that, how your number two players always win it in 2K. I think Matt always complains about that. Uh, six to steal. And then Rick Carlisle, coach of the year, probably for the Pacers. They are insane this year. 
Uh, we do get LeBron James on All-NBA First Team once again. Another great season from LeBron. Just his three-point shooting numbers went down, but yeah, he's averaging almost nine assists. Yeah, he's killing it at his age 40 year. Nobody on second team. Do we get Anthony Davis this year? No, we don't. On, on any of the All NBA teams, uh, no AD on, on All Defensive First Team, but he does make it on All Defensive Second Team. Nice. Average 21 points, 11 rebounds, 1.4 steals, 2.3 blocks. And then there's the All Rookie Teams. Amani Bates makes it for the Knicks. I guess he didn't play much in uh, his actual rookie season last year. Topic, Isaiah Wong, Stefan Castle, and Alexander Starr. Uh, then there is Albert, the second team. We do make the play, and we're taking on the Nuggets. Nice to see. Let's see who the Nuggets have. They have TJ McConnell, Julian Strother, still Chris Middleton, Eric Gordon, Jokic, Ned Smith, Kyle Anderson, Christian Brown, Jay Crowder, Jeff Green, Caleb Boster, Jalen Pickett. Jamal Murray is hurt, it looks like, so that could help us. He's out for the season with a lower left leg stress fracture. Man. Okay, so that's why they're starting uh, TJ McConnell, who's pretty solid, still a solid point guard. Alrighty, here's our rotation for the play-in game against the Warriors. We just need to get in the dance, man. D'Lo and Reeves, 30 apiece. 38 for LeBron. 25 for Vanderbilt. 39 for AD with... Trey Mann, Jalen Hood Shafino, D'Anthony Melton, Tor Torian Prince off the bench. Bronny is not going to play, but he is now on the roster. He's out of the G League, so at least he's on the team, man. So, which is pretty cool. Maybe he gets to play next year if we have a year three. He will probably get to play next year. All right, simulating the game against the Nuggets. If it's close, I might hop in. We'll see. Uh, it is close. Nuggets are up by seven. We can come back. Uh, it's looking good for them. Uh, I don't think we're going to win. And they're going to win. Oh, and we're eliminated in the play-in. Gosh darn it. The Denver Nuggets beat us 121-101. LeBron had 21-11-8. Not enough. Man, AD, you got to be better than that on the offensive end. But he did have 20 boards. Jokic had 26-9-10. Middleton 23, 5, and 6. So a disappointing ending here in a year two in this road to a championship. Some changes are going to have to be made in the offseason. Uh, the Nuggets didn't even make the playoffs either. They got beat either by the Kings or the Grizzlies. I missed it. Uh, we'll see who wins the finals this year. Tyrese Halliburton of the Pacers wins Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Zion on the Pelicans wins Western Conference Finals MVP. Pacers Pelicans Finals. And the Pacers sweep the Pels. Tyrese Halliburton is Finals MVP. On to the offseason here where changes are going to have to be made. I think upgrade a point guard probably. Unless we make Bronny our point guard. I may do that. Yeah, it looks like I do have a lottery pick this year. Uh, the 12th pick. Let's see if we get that 12th pick. And yes, it stays at 12. So Lakers do have the 12th pick. I'm going to be looking to trade that pick. We're, we're, gonna go, we're going all in to win a title this year. We don't need to add another rookie. And I get Eldon Stewart to be my head scout. And Trent Peterson to be my assistant coach. Yeah, I'll sign, I'll sign Trent Peterson. All right, we're doing a draft night trade here. We're going all in. I'm trading the 12th pick, DeAnthony Milton and Austin Reeves. Sorry, Lakers fans. I think it's time to move on from the Austin Reeves. I'm getting a, a defensive stud. 3 and D guy, and OG and Adobe from the Sixers, as well as Montez Busuelas, who could be a, who could be a really nice bench piece for us. Yeah, man, we're going to do this. Sixers agree. Big blockbuster trade right there. And who's Philly going to take with the 12th pick? They take Ian Jackson up of North Carolina. That's a nice pick for them. And I'm just going to trade uh, this 45th overall pick to the Pistons for a future second swap best. We don't really need to make that pick. And the Pistons take Wayne Chase out of South Carolina with that pick. Now, just looking at the first five picks here. Cooper Flagg went to the Rockets first overall. He's at 80 overall. Arius Bailey goes second overall. Trey Johnson to the Celtics. Oh, Bailey to the Hornets, by the way. The Jazz got Jaleel Bethley and Carter Knox to the Bulls. 
I did draft one rookie. I drafted Nazir Cunningham here, a 6'7 small forward slash shooting guard. We'll sign him. Team player options, I'm going to pick it up on Jalen Hutchifino and Bronny. Bronny is going to be a part of the rotation this year. Qualifying offers, I'll pick it up on Max Christie and Trey Mann. LeBron James is a free agent. The Warriors are offering him one year 45. Uh, yeah, you're not going to the Warriors, LeBron. We are going to give you... I'm going to give you one year 40, 48, I think. Yeah, or 40, one year 40... We take one year 47, LeBron. One year 47 mil. And we do get LeBron James back. One year deal. Uh, Jason Tatum re-signed with the Celtics. Donovan Mitchell goes to the Knicks on a three-year deal. We got LeBron back. Mobley back to the Cavs. Scotty Barnes to the Raptors. Jalen Green back to the Rockets. Brandon Ingram goes to the Warriors. Uh, Jalen Brunson's going to the Clippers. Shangu to the Pacers. Nuggets get Jamal Murray. Paul George to the Blazers. Also some player movement here. Uh, Trey Mann is, accept, is preparing to accept an offer from the Kings. I'm going to match that one year, 5.3 mil, and we get Trey Mann back. Uh, LeBron and Anthony Davis are regressing. It is now or never. Bronny progressing a ton this year. He might be our starting point guard, honestly. Yeah, maybe I start him over D'Lo. We'll see. Maybe I should start him over D'Lo. Or he could be our sixth man. We'll see. Uh... Maybe, yeah, maybe I try start. Maybe I do start. Bro oh, wait, Bronny's perimeter D is an A. I think we're going to start Bronny this year. Dino's going to come off the bench. Ananobi, Jalen Hood, Shafino, Vanderbilt. Trey Mann is up. There's Busquelis. And we got Prince. Maxwell Lewis and Jalen Phillips. Paul Reed is still here. There's a one Gabriel. And there's Nazir Cunningham. Oh, it's nice to see some big progression out of Bronny. I'd like to see that. He's probably going to start along with his dad. I'll be pretty cool in his final year. Now, this is going to be the rotation to start season number three. Uh, Bronny James is now our starting point guard, so LeBron's son is playing with him. He's going to get 27. Uh, OG and Adobe, 26. 26 for Jared Vanderbilt. 34 for LeBron James. 35 for Anthony Davis. With uh, D'Angelo Russell as our sixth man, he'll get 27 as well, like Bronny. 23 for Jalen Hood Shafino, 18 for Trey Mann, 14 for Montez Busuelas, and 10 for Paul Reed. If we have injuries, Torian Prince, Maxwell Lewis will come in, or Wenyan Gabriel if we have need center depth. Also, no scoring options this year. So Assistant proficiency is still three and a half star balance. I don't know if, if anything's four stars, I'll switch, but you know, four star defense. Ron does not fit the defensive system too well. Yeah, we'll stick with balance. We're going to stick with balance. We get LeBron and Anthony Davis as all-stars again. LeBron is the starter for Team Nikola Jokic in its age 40 season, his last season in the NBA. And Anthony Davis is a reserve for Ty Team Tyrese Halliburton. We're sitting at 36-15, and 15, a much better season this year. I think maybe Austin Reeves is holding us back, and like having Bronny and OG and Anobi starting has helped us big time. We're in the top seed of the West right now. 8.2 point differential. Player stats: LeBron is still leading us in scoring by point one. Uh, he's having a really he's, yeah, he's passing even more now. Passing even more. I think he's just so happy to be playing with his son. Yeah, he's having an excellent season for for his last season at the league. Anthony Davis is playing, playing exceptionally well still, too. There's Bronny. He's our third scoring option in, in, his, in his second season in the league. Uh, he didn't play at all last year. 16.4 points per game. 4.3 assists. So it's kind of like getting a redshirt year to develop behind LeBron and these guys. 53 from the field, 49 from the three at 20 years old. He's 50, 40, 90. He's almost 50, 50, 90. That's insane. Bronny's killing it. Jalen Hood Shafino out of Indiana has developed really well for us. Uh, he's drafted in the 2023 draft class. He's been awesome. Uh, D'Lo's still kicking it. I almost traded him. Kind of glad I didn't. He's um, good, in good in a bench roll for us. Trey Mann also really solid in a bench roll. 
Montez Busuelas, who we got from the Sixers, has been has been very good as well. OG stud defender. That's what I was hoping for. And he shoots well from three. Jared Vanderbilt, also a really good defender. There's Toria Prince, Speedball Paul, and Speedball Paul. And at the end of the final season, uh, Tyrese Halliburton wins MVP. That's nice to see. He really develops well in this game. He develops into a star in this game, that's for sure. Arius Bailey is a rookie of the year. Where was he out of? I don't know if this is accurate or not. Uh, I don't know if that's accurate, but it says East Carolina. Pretty good season. Uh, Ryan Rupert wins six man of the year for the Bulls. Victor Wenbanyama, Depoy. Kobe Bufkin, most approved for the Hawks in year number three. Had a nice season for them. Henry Carlisle, coach of the year, probably for the Pacers. Guess we're going to be seeing them in the NBA Finals. Uh, if we get there, LeBron James, All-NBA first team in his age 40 season, just insane. 40, 40, 40, and now he's 41. His age 40 to 41 season. Yeah, he's, he's very good. But this is his last season. What a way to go out, especially if they win a ring. Uh, let's see, second team, we don't get Anthony Davis. And he's not on third team either. See all defensive teams we get we get OG and Anobi, so I traded I traded for an all defensive first team player. That was a great trade, that's for sure. W of a trade. And Anthony Davis makes all defensive second team. Yeah, he had another phenomenal season for us. Uh, let's see, we don't get anybody on all rookie first team. Uh, or second team, oh well. That doesn't matter to me. As the Lakers are the three seed, huh? The Mavericks and Thunder finished with better records than us. I'll have to check that out. And we're taking on the Blazers here on round one. Alright, yeah, oh, the Mavericks had a three-game lead on us. And the Thunder had one game. We're one game better. Alright. We did have almost an eight-point differential. We're, very, we're a very good team. Player stats, we saw what LeBron and AD did. Bronny averaged almost 18 points a game in his first real season of playing. Yeah. Elite shooting numbers, he was 50, 40, 90 in, in, his, sec in his first full season. Because he was drafted in 2024. That, that was amazing. Jalen Hood Shafino has developed into a really nice player for us. Um, yeah, really, really good, real good bench, fringe starter, honestly. Really, really nice bench piece. Uh, D'Angelo Russell played very well off our bench. Yeah, it's like a career year for him. My goodness. Let's see, Montez Busuelas had a solid season for us. Trey Mann was good. It's like everybody played well. We saw OG. Jared Vanderbilt's a good defender. Paul Reed and Tory Prince who played a little bit. Alright, yeah, this is what we're gonna roll with. This is what we're rolling with for the playoffs. 33 for Bronny, 26 for OG and Anobi, 25 for Jared Vanderbilt. LeBron's gonna get 36, 38 for Anthony Davis, 28 for D'Lo, 26 for Jayla Hood Shafino, Montez Busuelas 15, and then Trey Mann to round our bench with 13. Round one against the Blazers, who have Scooch Sharp, Dumani Kamara. How's he been for them? He's solid, He's a solid player. Adolis, Adolas, Julius was undrafted out of Arizona in his second year. Still have eight: Anthony Simons, Robert Williams, Paul George, the party of Jabari Walker, Cody Williams off the bench. Could win this series, but I don't want to jinx it as we're telling 1-0, 1-1, 2-1, 3-1, 2-K, 2-K, all right, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 
whole game for game four is must win or eliminated. Come on, don't disappoint me. Not disappoint me. 2K Sim, I know you love the Lakers. And it's oh, it's getting close. Pull it out, pull it out. Yes, we do. 128, 119. 31, 9, and 9 for LeBron. Bronny with 27. Double double for 80. Huge win there to pull within. Pull within a game of forcing it to game 7. On to game 5. Must win again. Backs against the wall. Don't lose. Come on. <laughs> Do not lose. Tight. We're up. Up by 2 in the 4th. Up by 3. They take the lead. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're up. Pull it out. Come on, we're up by two. Up by four. I think we're going to win it. And we do. We win by five. AD, man, with 27 and 18. Force a game seven. Here we go. Man, why do we have to go down 3-1 why do we have to go down 3-1 in this Blazers team? Come on, man. They're up. Please win. We're at home. Come on. Lakers, come back. Come back. Yes, we got the lead. Man, that, that third quarter was... Not, that third quarter was terrible, man. I mean, we had 38. We gave up 40. Come on, pull it out. Pull it out. Come on, we need to win this. And we're going to win by three. Huge game. The gutsy fourth quarter. D'Lo leads us in scoring. Four steals for him. Wow. 34 points. 26 for Bronny. 23 for, a, for Davis. LeBron with, a, with 12 assists. Oof, that was a tight series. And, oh, we lose OG Ananobi to an injury now, of course. That hard-fought series. We're going to have to adjust the rotation before we find out who we're going to play next. All right, Jalen Hutchinson-Fito inserted into the starting lineup. Also, we we're going to play B-Ball Paul a little bit as well. And I gave some more minutes to Buzuelos and Trey Mann. And we are taking on the Thunder. This is going to be a tough round two matchup. They brought back James Harden. I believe they traded for him on draft night. Uh, he's been he's been all right for them in the playoffs. Josh Giddy, Lou Dort, Jalen Williams, Chet Holmgren, Vooch, Kaysen, Wall Kaysen Wallace, Brogdon. I mean, tough team, but beatable. Shea is out, though. Shea is out. Ooh, yeah, that could help us big time. Broken right ankle, one to two weeks. But... Still going to be a tough series. We'll start by simulating round. And we're down 2-0. Well. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you freaking kidding me? Chet and Lou Dort played well in the first game. Uh, Bronny had 33. LeBron 17. 14 assists. We lost by 6. Game 2 we lost. 128-111. Chet, man, oh my gosh, 29 and 23, just killed us. Harder with 15 assists. Yeah, we do win game three, thank goodness. 124, 111. Bronny leads us with 30 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, double-double for 80. LeBron is just assisting like mad in these playoffs. How many assists is LeBron averaging in these playoffs? Almost 10 assists per game in the playoffs. And OG Ananobi is back, yes, so we'll get him back in there. All right, OG Ananobi is back here. Uh, for this game number four. So it's going to be Bronny, OG, Jared Vanderbilt, LeBron, AD starting five. With Jalen Hutchifino as the sixth man now. He's been killing it. I'm making him the sixth man over D'Lo. He's also playing really well uh, in his own right. He's been great. Uh, Busquelis and Trey Man to wrap out the rotation. And yeah, we tie it up 2-2. Two to two. Let's go. 121-107. D'Lo with 30 points. After I lowered his minutes, he's even more efficient. 27 for LeBron, 18 and 13, and three, 18 and 13 for eight for AD. Jalen Hutchinson with 15. He's been so efficient. D'Lo and Jalen Hutchinson have been awesome off the bench. OG and Anobi did not shoot well, but he's a great defender. Uh, Bronny didn't shoot it well either, but yeah, it was this was D'Lo, LeBron, and AD on Jalen Hutchinson's game right here. Those four carried us. And they take a 3-2 lead. So the home team has won every game so far. Chet with 40 and 13. And, oh man. And 32 and 17, not enough from Anthony Davis. We didn't get enough help for the rest of the team. Down 3-2 here. We need to force a game 7 once again. And, and D'Angelo Russell's off of the season. Oh man, that sucks. That is a killer. 
Alright, no D low here. Let's see if we can force a game of seven. Yeah, it's a tight game. Super tight. Lakers are up. Tied in the fourth. And with a minute left, we're up by two. And they oh they beat us by one. No, they beat us by one. Unbelievable. Ugh. That hurts. That one hurts. We get eliminated in round two. It's not enough. Oh, this is such a good team, too. Jalen Williams, Chet Holmgren, and Josh Giddy got the best of us. Shea did come back, too. That's, yeah, that stinks. We lost in round two, and that is going to do it for this run to a championship. I tried my best. Ultimately, could not get it done. Luka, Western Conference Finals MVP. Hi, Halliburton, Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Mavericks, Pacers Finals. This should be a good one. It should be a really good one in real life. And the Mavericks won it all. Luka's Finals MVP. No, couldn't get it done for this Lakers squad. But it was pretty fun to have LeBron and Bronny on the same team. Kept AD around, of course. Jalen Hutchinson developed well. We got Anobi, Usuelas. Kept Vanderbilt. We traded for Trey Mann. It's a nice comp. Nice, uh. A nice. Nice team overall. A combination of guys that were on the team already and guys I traded for and that were drafted. So, yeah, that was gonna do it for this video. See you on the next one. Bye, everybody, and have a great rest of your day.